Hi, this is Tim from Cedar River Music, and I'm here to show you our new Music Teacher app, which is available for iPod, iPhone, and iPad in the Apple App Store. It will shortly be available for Android as well. When you first download and install Music Teacher, uh, you'll have to log in with an email and a password. This allows us to sync and save your lesson plans so that you can open them up from other devices. Uh, we will shortly have a web version available so you can actually access your lessons from any device. So you put in your name and password. Uh, you'll have to actually create an account at first, but then once you've created one, you submit. Also notice you can access the tutorial before you even log in. So we submit, and then we're logged in. And at the bottom, you can see home, lesson book, settings, about, and support. The support, again, is a tutorial that will walk you through the whole app like I'm doing right now. So if you'd rather read these directions or need to go back and see how to do something, you can do that. Uh, the about screen is simply uh, credits and copyrights and settings. You do want to visit the settings page before you really start using the app. As you can see, you can select which grades you want to use. You can change the font up here. Uh, I like Optima, and that's our default Creative Sequence font. Uh, this Helvetica, that's the more standard iOS font, so you can switch between those or actually choose really any font you want. We'll stick with Optima for now. Um, elements of music. If you don't like my list and you want to add, say, tone color as an option, if you type that there, then it will show up on the drop-down list when you start doing your lessons. Same thing with media. Let's say I wanted to add ukulele. I can add that there, and that should show up. Standards, we've got the na new National Core Standards uh, link to their website that will download those for you. Um, we also have some states. Right now, I'm up to three, but please email me and I can add your state very quickly. Uh, and since that's all online, I can do that uh, within a day, probably. Um, and that explains the standards there. So I'm going to turn off the state standards for now. Uh, sharing, you want to put in your name exactly as you would have it appear to print and to share lessons. Also, this button right here lets you download other teachers' shared lesson plans on the app. And then, of course, you can change your password if you want. Okay, so we've done our settings. Now we're going to go into the lesson book. And you can see it lists the grades that I chose. I can look at all my lessons by clicking All or I can look at just one grade's worth of lessons. On the next page, you can see we've got my lessons and then shared lessons way down at the bottom. Not a lot of shared lessons yet, although you'll see more than I do here because many of those shared lessons are my own. Um, at the top, we can search for a specific thing, like if we wanted a pentatonic song, we could search for that. You can see I still have a lot of those or if we wanted a song that focused on major, we could find that. There's a few less of those in there right now. Minor, oh, mistyped. Okay, so there's some minor. It might, now that could be minor interval or minor scale, uh, so you'd still have to search a little bit. But you can put in multiple search words there, separate them by, by space and so forth. Uh, when you want to start a lesson, you just click Add New Lesson. And here's what our lesson template looks like to enter. The top column, you can see Share. If I click that, then other teachers on the app can see my lesson. Um, the next column is for the title. So let's call this one uh, Twinkle. And then, of course, grade. And you see I get a scroller with the grades that I chose. So we're going to sing Twinkle with first grade. You can put in a date if you want, like what month you're going to teach it, 
Um, sometimes I leave that blank because I tend to change it from year to year. Here is our elements and notice tone color is at the bottom. We added that in so you can add whatever you want. You can even turn off some of the ones that I have if you don't like them. So I'm going to pick melody and then you can put in whatever you want here. Now notice in some of these fields you can do underline, you can do bold, you can do italics, and that will all save of course. So you can do three different objectives. Here's the standards. If I choose performing, notice it's loading from their website. Analyze. So we're it mentions melodic contours, and that's what we're looking at there. You can put more than one standard in. Here's the media. Again, notice ukulele is added at the bottom, but maybe we'll do it with singing and movement for this lesson. Repertoire, you can turn on the italics. You could type in a web address, although we don't have working links yet. Eventually, I would like to be able to uh, add the feature of installing actual images of scores in the repertoire fields. So we're going to work on that. Uh, process here, you can type as much as you want, assessment, comments, and so forth. And again, notice for process, you can put in formatting, which is really helpful, italics, and so forth. Okay, when you're done with a lesson, you can press done at the top there. Also notice when you go back into a lesson, if I find that twinkle lesson here, it is not editable by default. You actually have to press the edit button at the top. That's just to stop you from accidentally changing a lesson. So let's look at a lesson that is a little more finished here. We'll look at Amalama, and next to the edit button at the top you see a piece of paper. That's a PDF, and if you click on that you can see it laid out. There's a little glitch at the bottom of the first page which I'll get fixed very soon, but you can see it's very nicely laid out with all of that information on just two pages um, and easy to read. And then from there, if you click the top button, you can mail it, email it, you can print it, you can open it in other apps like Dropbox and Google Drive, so you could send it to one of those. So you can share with whoever you want uh, with the PDFs or like I said on the app you can actually share with other music teachers. Well that about does it for the overview of the music teacher app. We hope to add other features in the future like, um, like I said with putting images for scores We'd like to add more of a planner as another tab in here where you can plan out your year and your month and your weeks, a daily planner, a grade book. The app right now is $10, $9.99, and if you buy it now, you'll have free access to all those future features. There will never be a subscription fee, um, and we hope you enjoy. Please let us know. Uh, send a comment on our website, csmusicteacher.com or uh, put in a review in the App Store if you buy it. Thanks a lot. Bye.